Oh, baby, my friends. We finally made it to the spooky season. And this year is more sinister than ever. Mwahaha! <laughs> because we finally scared Nintendo straight. Yep, they're finally dropping a dedicated Animal Crossing Nintendo Direct this month and bringing a ton of crazy content with it. So let me be your guide for the wonderful Almanac for the 10th month of the year, October, as I give you all the new details and new information on the new updates, new events, new items, new DIY, and new NPCs for this fancy but spooky month and we also have to talk about how I'm kind of a heathen and I kind of love candy corn Okay, but forget that I said that plus we're going deep beneath the surface to see the fish We're going high in the skies to see the bugs and of course those deep-sea creatures for both the north and the southern hemisphere All right, we got everybody covered here It is a wonderful family and I'm gonna be giving you details on that Nintendo Direct that is coming this month You see I'm ready. I'm Halloweened up. I'm in the season. It is the reason we we got candy corn to talk about, but first I want to let you know we're doing a big giveaway this month, okay? I'm talking a new system so you can start a second island and some memory cards so that you can get things saved and stored. This is going to be a big deal, so make sure to stay tuned for that. But I want to kick things off with my costume, all right? My villager is ready. You guys got your costumes planned? I hope we're working on it. You only have 30 days, all right? And this guy is just chilling. Of course, he's representing the best NPC this game has ever seen. An NPC that is confirmed to be coming. First time it's not speculation, it's just fact. Hashtag trust switch for. So Brewster will be here in November and the biggest deal of October honestly is that direct. Who doesn't love free stuff, free stuff? We all love free stuff and I promised you a big giveaway this month and <laughs> it's big. All right, my fine friends at Lexar are doing it again. Aren't they great? How about a new chance to start a brand new island for all the new content coming to the game? Yep, myself and Lexar are giving away a brand new Nintendo Switch Lite and a one terabyte Lexar play card. All you gotta do, it's super simple to enter, is like this video, leave a comment on this video, and then follow myself and Lexar on Twitter. I'll put all the details in the description down below so it's nice and easy peasy lemon squeezy for you, but get in on this. All right, this is a big prize for a big month, and I'm so grateful to my Lexar family for always supporting the channel, supporting Animal Crossing, and supporting all of us, hooking it up with great giveaways. So make sure to click the link in the description down below to check out more on the Lexar play card, and then do those simple steps to get entered to win. In the last Nintendo Direct, they confirmed that an Animal Crossing specific Direct is headed our way in October, and I've kind of pieced together when it's going to air, and I believe it'll be the third week of the month around the 21st of October. The first week of the month is out because there is a Super Smash Bros. Ultimate presentation. The last week of the month is out because that is when they're going to be supposedly detailing the new Nintendo Switch Online features, and Halloween is at the end of the month. So I feel like the third week is perfect to have the Direct and then to unlock Halloween, open up that event for us all to play and enjoy, and let us know when exactly Brewster is coming and what friends he's bringing with him. Now we'll do separate videos predicting and discussing the Direct, of course, but I'm telling you, a Direct means like 10 to 20 minutes of content. The last Animal Crossing Direct was 27 minutes, and it's gonna be way more than just the Roost and Brewster. Some people are concerned that it's just the cafe, guys and girls. Nintendo don't do a dedicated Direct to give you one goodie. It's gonna bring content that we've all been craving, but while we wait for that Direct, there still is a lot of great stuff in October, and so let's get in gear with what this month holds, and we can play near. We kick things off with the very first day of the month, right here, right now. Candy is in store. No, like literally candy is in the store. One piece per day is what you can pop off the shelves at Nook's Cranny, and you're gonna wanna grab this 120 bell item because it's gonna be utilized throughout the month as a fun little party favor, but at the end of the month for Halloween purposes. You're gonna utilize this candy to help you acquire special items that can only be had on Halloween day. Plus, it's just like a fun thing to carry around and get in that spirit. Please, I know, candy corn ain't for everyone. I think it's my favorite Halloween candy. Or maybe it's those pumpkins. I think both of these candies are kind of hated, but correct me if I'm wrong, candy corn fans? Little orange chewy pumpkin fans? 
I hope there's some of you out there. Now, while you're not busy hunting down candy, October 8th is the launch of Nintendo Switch OLED. And while this isn't really an Animal Crossing specific update, it sure does update the colors, the vibrancy, the clarity, and the brightness of your AC island. So if you do want to play Animal Crossing like the best way possible, I think this is it. It's definitely not mandatory. You don't need to get it, but I'll put it on the calendar. October 8th is a day where your island could get a whole lot brighter. Then we move to October 9th, where CJ houses his fishing tournament. He's a good guy. Same days for the North and the South, and it's going to be running from 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. Go in, get some fish, get the prizes that you probably already have grabbed like three or four times. But hey, if you want to see CJ and his wonderful camera, you can do so on the 9th. We actually move all the way to the 25th. There's not a lot of special items rolling and running for October, but the 25th begins a brand new event exclusive to 2021, and that is Day of the Dead, with only one special item, but hey, it is a really cool holiday, and I'm glad it's included here. The Marigold decoration, as you can see on the table, will be available for about a week and a half from October 25th to November 3rd, and then there's actually a lot of items already in the game that you can kind of piece together if you were hoping to celebrate day of the dead in the game and wanted to make a dedicated area on your island but i love that they're giving shine to more different cultural events and i, and I super appreciate that i think nintendo and animal crossing are some of the best at embracing the global community but then my friends it's time for jack the czar of halloween to descend and he brings with him valiant new treats galloping headless horseman style straight to a uh, nook's cranny near you. We got the spooky treats basket, the spooky tree, the spooky trick lamp as the three new Halloween items for 2021. Make sure to dive deep into those trick lamps. They open up to house a really lovely carved scene, one of the coolest items. And then of course the treats basket like I'm holding right here, that can be held. So it's fun and each different colorway has a different face, which I appreciate. Is it as many items as pocket camp? No. But I do love that ACNH decided to give new holiday items for 2021. It makes a big difference and keeps everything feeling fresh and very fun. Now, Halloween itself, of course, is going to be on the 31st. Jack will descend to the plaza, things will get spooky, and your villagers will be ready for action. And by action, I mean candy exchanges, okay? Because there is a wonderful way for you to come in and trade candy. You can either spook up your villagers in their homes to get candy from them, or you can give them candy to acquire lollipops, which can be spent with Jack to acquire some Halloween-specific items. There's actually a few DIY that you can only grab on Halloween. As far as I'm aware, it's seven of them, and I'm actually going to keep those hidden in case you haven't played Halloween yet. If you're a new player in 2021, I don't want to spoil them because they're pretty fun, and I feel like we should leave some sort of mystery and intrigue before the great old pumpkin head descends at the end of the month. Happily, Halloween is one of the more involved events in ACNH. There's actually a list of things you'll be able to do. Like I mentioned, you get candy from villagers inside their homes, and that'll be by spooking them with a costume. You can wear Jack's costume, or you can wear any costume acquirable at the Able Sisters. I'll show you in a moment. You can get lollipops from villagers outside by giving them candy. You can collect two Jack costume items from Jack, five different spooky set items from villagers, two different spooky set items from Jack, two new Halloween reactions by giving candy to Jack and villagers, and you can get tricked with Halloween face paints by failing trick-or-treat with villagers outside. Now, if you're curious what the costumes look like, there are some fun ones in store at the actual Able Sisters store. Now, I don't think there's any new costumes this year, which honestly is a bummer. This would be the perfect opportunity for crossover gear. Like, I'd love to see a little Bowser costume. That would be fun. A little bit of Princess Zelda dress in that shop. But alas, we just have the same ones from last year, which will be the flashy animal costume, very colorful, the mage's dress, okay, the mage academy robes, you got the raggedy outfit, the flashy pointy ear animal hat, the flashy round ear animal hat, the impish horns, impish, makes me think of, uh, what's his name, what's his name from the office, the, the evil, Belschnickel, the, that's Christmas. That's not Halloween, but he feels spooky, right? It should be Halloween. The major striped hat, the magic academy hood, the horizontal striped tights, and the flashy animal boots, coupled with the mage's boots, the impish wings, which I know a lot of you love, and that will be what you can dress up as for Spooktacular October 31st. Now, we'll of course cover Halloween in greater detail as we approach the fateful date, but there's more than just candy and costumes for October. All right, this is the time where the pumpkin DIY can be found via your villagers or by via the balloon pop in action. I think, right? 
It's the balloons too? I know it's the villagers, but I think it's the balloons as well. Verify if you need to. But pumpkin recipes are very, very seasonal. The spooky arch. The spooky candy set, the spooky chair, the spooky fence, the spooky lantern, the spooky lantern set, which feels, oh my goodness, childhood memories right here. Plop down on some hay bales, taking photos with mom and dad. Mm, such a good time. Maybe a little apple cider, maybe a little donut back when I digested those yummy, unhealthy things that I'm really missing. I might have to go. I haven't had a donut in a long time. Apple cider plus donuts, cinnamon sugar donuts, warmed up. Oh gosh, all the feels, all the seasonal vibes. And I really like this set, okay? They brought in pumpkins last year and now you can procure all these awesome items. There's a spooky scarecrow, a spooky standing lamp, a spooky table, a spooky tower of pumpkins, and then you have some other items that I won't show you yet because those are the ones that you can acquire just from Halloween night. And, and I think it's fun to keep them a little bit of a surprise for you and not show the images just yet. But it's not just Halloween because if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, then October 1st to 10th is an important event for you. It's actually the cherry blossom season and there's some beautiful items I'd love to include everyone so let's cover a little bit of down south you got the outdoor picnic set the cherry blossom wand the cherry blossom pochette the cherry blossom pond stone the petal pile the bonsai the branches the viewing lantern all right you got the clock which is quite classy the trees wall the wood wall the cherry blossom flooring the wood flooring from Sakura herself. And then you have the cherry blossom umbrella. Uh, and of course, just cherry blossoms straight up. You'll be acquiring these via floating petals, drifting in the winds. Use your net to grab them. You only got 10 days to do it. So every time you see one, my Southern Hemisphere players, make sure to get it. And it's kind of cool that you guys get Cherry Blossom and Halloween in the same dang month. Two of the coolest item sets in the game and some of the prettiest and most fun stuff that I know people seek out and want to collect. You guys get it all at once. It's like October is absolutely insane for all of you down south. Now, it wouldn't be a monthly almanac if we didn't dig deep into the pages of them darn critters on Ye Island. So let's start it off with those bugs, those dang bugs. And oh my gosh, I'm gonna be the one. It's me. It's a ladybug for you to see. That's it. New in October for the Northern Hemisphere is the ladybug. Cute little bug, but it's only worth 200 bells. You're losing quite a bit. The butterfly of the yellow color variety, the bell cricket, the red dragonfly, the darner dragonfly, the banded dragonfly, stink bug, man-faced stink bug, the ladybug, the tiger beetle, and the scorpion. Apparently it is time to gear up for the cold season, so certain bugs are saying sayonara. Now in the southern hemisphere, you're getting quite a bit. It's time for butterflies to descend with the common blue bottle, the Agrius butterfly, the Raja Brooks bird wing, the Atlas moth, the Madagascan sunset moth, the long locust, darner dragonfly, giant water bug, jewel beetle, and that pesky flea, which can cause fleas in your villagers. Now you're losing Tarantula, one of my favorites. And a spooky bug, what gives? Why is he leaving in October? Bad timing, bad timing. Then again, the fish are similarly small with a yellow perch and a dab dropping in the northern hemisphere. You're going to say goodbye to the snapping turtle, the catfish, the tilapia, the angelfish, the beta, the rainbow fish, the moray eel, the ribbon eel, the giant trevally, and the mahi mahi. So I would say, you know what, make sure to grab a few snapping turtles. All right, Donatello, Leonardo, Raphael, and Michelangelo, a great quartet. All right, should be good. And those eels are pretty fun with a different uh, shadow outline in the seas. If you want to spot them, it's quite easy and quite cool. The Southern Hemisphere is getting quite a bit, all right? The killifish, the crawfish, the snapping turtle, the guppy, the neon tetra, the seahorse, the clownfish, the surgeon fish, the butterfly fish, and the zebra turkey fish. Again, snapping turtle is the way to go. Maybe even need one shredder if you want to be a little ironic. Saying goodbye to the dab tuna and blue marlin. That blue marlin at the pier, it's huge and it's worth 10k bells, so you might want to pick one up all day, any day in October. Now in terms of the deep sea creatures, it's a smaller sample size. In the Northern Hemisphere, we're getting the seaweed, the spiny lobster, and the Venus flower basket, saying ta-ta for now to the spotted garden eagle and the giant isopod, which is a very expensive deep sea creature, so uh, grab that if you can. It makes quick long lunges between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. and 9 p.m. and 4 a.m. Now the South is saying goodbye to the lobster and hello to the sea cucumber, that so creepy spider crab, perfect for Halloween, and the snow crab with the spider crab taking the cake, get it, the crab cake, for the most expensive uh, in the Southern Hemisphere. <laughs> Ooh, the party planning committee has convened for October and we got some birthday parties to hand out, all right? I just delivered the streamers and the cake requests, so let's roll through it. Spot your villager, say high five, let me know if anyone on your island is having a B-Day this month. 
It begins with Boyd on October 1st, as well as Raymond, one of the legendary new villagers, celebrating in style. Diva, oh boy, she needs a big party. On the second, she requested a wedding cake. Doesn't even make sense. Big Top on the third, Goose on the fourth. We got Elmer on the fifth, Biddy on the sixth, Tex also on that same day. Cobb takes the seventh, Kiki on the eighth, Drift the ninth, Franklin. Interestingly, an October birthday on the 10th, getting prepped for his special occasion. Benedict on the 10th as well. Kit on the 11th. Plucky the 12th. Lyman, my favorite Aussie koala on the 12th. Gonzo the 13th. Chops the 13th. Egbert the 14th. And Brewster the 15th. Now, some have wondered if Brewster will debut on the 15th, his birthday. Will Nintendo do the direct on that day? But again, I just feel like closer to Halloween makes more sense so they can kind of prep you for that event. I feel that's what they'll do. But hey, I'm open to this thing kicking off on the 15th, that's just faster. And, and we need Brewster as quick as we can. Hippo is on the 15th as well. Friga on the 16th. Limburg the 17th. Red, probably stealing all the other people's gifts on the 18th or playing White Elephant. Al on the 18th. Clay on the 19th. Antonio on the 20th. Sandy on the 21st. Timber on the 21st. Katie on the 22nd. Not in the game yet. Silvana is though on the 22nd. Groucho on the 23rd. Not mentioning that villager. Brofina on the 24th. Portia on the 25th. Eugene the 26th. Jambette the 27th. Katrina the 28th. Brewster and Katrina both have October birthdays. There's a direct plan. We already know Brewster is coming and data mines also showed fortune references. Could both of these birthday kings and queens be coming? I think you know the answer. Gaston is on the 28th, Rhodey on the 29th, Wade on the 30th, and LaBelle and her sassy ways trying to steal the spotlight from Jack, who happens to have a birthday on his big day. Halloween for the both of them. LaBelle and Jack both celebrating October 31st. And that'll do it for our October Almanac, a jam pack month loaded up with a Nintendo Direct. Halloween, new spooky items. You got the pumpkin DIY. You got a fishing tourney, a new holiday with Day of the Dead. Southern Hemisphere got them cherry blossoms peddling from the sky. And who knows what else is in store once Nintendo says hello on their direct day. It's going to be so good. I'm so excited to share it with you. Get your costumes ready, prep for Halloween, and get ready for the biggest deal since this game dropped. That direct is going to be massive. We'll watch it together. Make sure to hit that like button if you're excited. Let me know what you plan to play in October. Are you going to be getting a Halloween Island theme ready? Are you going to be decorating your character with custom designs? Are you just waiting for the boy Brewster? Let me know. And until next time, everybody, have a wonderful month. I'll see you guys on all the videos. So stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy stay positive out there make sure to check the description so you could be entered to win the switch light and big memory card it's an awesome prize one you'll love and can help you create a second island especially if nintendo announces big new features so enjoy my friends my family i love you and until next time everybody thanks so much for watching switch force out